Enbridge Gas Ohio says they'll likely be asked to assist in the investigation, but they can't publicly comment anymore. Now, as investigators continue their work, the surviving victims and the family of 27-year-old Akil Drake are putting the pieces of their lives back together. Chris Serenelli is live downtown now at the scene of the explosion with information on a GoFundMe that's been set up for one bank employee and how her co-worker Drake is being remembered. Good evening, Chris. Yeah, Derek, good evening. I learned this afternoon that Caroline Pizarro's long road to recovery, and it is going to be a long and hard one, is just beginning tonight, but she is going to pull through this and survive. And in the meantime, I was talking this afternoon to one Chase Bank customer off camera who described Akil Drake as one of the kindest and most positive people he's ever encountered in his life. And at the same time, that is how one of Drake's former supervisors is remembering him tonight. The investigation into Tuesday's deadly explosion at the Realty Building downtown will take weeks, maybe months, for the surviving victims. It's going to be a struggle for her to get back together. That struggle may last the rest of their lives. Matthew Cower's girlfriend, Caroline Pizarro, worked in the Chase Bank branch on the ground floor. He told me she's now off a ventilator and feeding tube, but has major injuries to her face, eye, and leg. She moved here from uh, Hurricane Maria. Uh, didn't speak a word of English. Taught herself English, worked three different jobs, started a business, got a job at the bank. After Pizarro left her native Puerto Rico, she'd been raising her daughter by herself. Now the burden of medical bills is sure to be monumental. She'll be in the hospital for at least the next month. Cower set up a GoFundMe, hoping to raise $76,000 to help pay off her house. She works her butt off. Uh, one of the nicest people I've ever met. She's probably one of the strongest people I know. She means so much to so many people. Pizarro's co-worker, 27-year-old Akil Drake, is being remembered much the same way. He made the office fun. After the two ate lunch together, the explosion brought his young life to a tragic end. His college supervisor says he had only worked at the bank a matter of months. He was very reliable, you know, uh, hard worker, and I think as you're going to come to find out, he, you know, he worked very hard at everything he did. He's gotten to where he got by hard work. A promising life cut down too soon, but one that left an impact sure to live on. With more local news, I'm Chris Serenelli.